Welcome to part five of ESD Basics Bite Size. We'll be looking at the grounding of surfaces within the electrostatic protected area and how we can best remove insulators from the EPA. Today we're looking at work surfaces and grounding. Dispertive work surfaces are an integral part of the ESD protective workstation, particularly in areas where hand assembly occurs. It's necessary for work surfaces to be properly grounded to a common point or equipment ground. It is also recommended to have a dispertive work surface that is clean. This will ensure that the work surface will properly dissipate or remove static charges and therefore provide proper ESD protection. ESD protective work surfaces are manufactured in a variety of materials such as specially modified vinyl, rubber and high pressure laminates. Conductive and dispertive flooring materials are used in conjunction with ESD footwear. Flooring materials are also available in various forms, most commonly vinyl and rubber matting, floor tiles and dispertive floor finishes. Conductive and dispertive materials may generate static charges, but when properly grounded, static charges will be removed. Every element is to be grounded at an ESD protected workstation and these shall be connected to the same common point ground. In most cases, AC equipment ground is the preferred choice of ground. The resistance to ground, RPG, is the most important functional consideration for work surfaces. This establishes the resistance of the primary path to ground for items placed on the surface. When work surfaces materials are being selected, consideration should be given to possible CDM, charge device model, damage to ESD sensitive products. If CDM damage is a concern, then setting a lower resistance limit for the work surface should be considered. Typically, the lower limit for these type of work surfaces is 1 times 10 to the 6 ohms. So in our previous video, we identified that you need to ground all conductors, including people, and we showed you the effectiveness of uh, heel straps and wrist straps. The next part of the uh, process is that you need to ensure that any working surfaces and walking surfaces are ESD safe and appropriately grounded. So what we've got here is a static dispositive uh, table mat, and you can see this is, a, is connected here to a ground point that's connected back to AC ground. What the European standard then calls for is to measure the resistance uh, to ground. So what you would use then is a digital field meter like this one and using a 2.5 kilogram weighted probe, you would place that on the surface of the uh, uh, work surface and the other lead would go into an appropriate grounding point and then you would push your test button to make sure that everything is working within specification. So if I push the test button there, it takes anything up to 15 seconds to stabilize to get an accurate reading. And if we just wait, and what I can see here is that this uh, work surface is coming in at 2.56 times 10.6, so perfectly within specification. So the test you need to do for testing your working and walking surfaces is a resistance to ground test in this configuration. Periodic cleaning following the manufacturer's recommendations is required to maintain proper electrical function of all work surfaces. Ensure that cleaners that are used do not leave an electrically insulative residue common with most household cleaners that contain silicone. It should be understood that any object, item, material or person could be a source of static electricity in the work environment. Removal of unnecessary non-conductors, replacing non-conductive materials with dispositive or conductive materials and grounding all conductors are the principal methods of controlling static electricity in the workplace, regardless of the activity.